for the adventurer to find the unknown. Ingalls, Oklahoma is no exception. But I do not recommend venturing to the cemetery on the hill. Why don't you just ask these poor souls? I bet they would love a visit from you. Maybe you should ask them about the history of their town. Created on land that was once part of the Creek Nation, Payne was one of the first counties established in Oklahoma Territory by the Organic Act in May 1890. It was first designated as the 6th County, but was later named to honor Boomer leader David L. Payne. The county was part of the territory settled during the land run of 1889. Payne County's topography of rolling plains lies mostly within the Sandstone Hills physiographic region and the western part of the county lies within Red Bed Plains. The Twin Mounds limestone topped hills lying east of Ingalls is the most noticeable feature. The Cimarron River is the primary waterway, draining most of the county via its own smaller tributaries and Stillwater Creek and its tributaries. Prehistoric occupation of the region has been revealed in various archaeological sites in the county, including four of the Archaic period region, 6000 BC to AD 1, two woodland sites, AD 1 to 1000, and two plains village sites, AD 1000 to 1500. The Organic Act also ended a bitter dispute between Stillwater and Perkins over which should be the county seat. Settlers from both communities, some armed, lined up on opposite sides of Stillwater Creek, each side demanding to hold court records until a seat was named. Leaders persuaded both factions to put down their weapons. Congress settled the matter by choosing Stillwater. As the Sac and Fox and Iowa reservations were opened to non-Indian settlement in 1891 and the Cherokee out the, by 1893 run, Payne County's borders were expanded by adding several townships of the outlet and several miles of land south of the Cimarron River. These openings also created new counties that now border on Payne Noble, Lincoln, Creek, and Pawnee. Logan, on the southwest border, was one of the seven original counties these changes made Payne a part of North Central Oklahoma. The county incorporates 697 square miles of land and water area. From 1889 to 1902, 33 post offices were set up in the county, some of which disappeared within a few weeks. As this occurred, leaders emerged who had great influence on the county's history and its government. These included Robert A. Lowry, a lawyer and newspaper publisher from Angus, Iowa. He was often called the father of Stillwater. He donated 80 acres of his claim to secure a town site, led in forming the first city government and helped assure Stillwater as the county seat. Frank J. Wickoff, only 22, made the 1889 land run. He wrote the first Stillwater city charter. He was the first city attorney, the first Payne County attorney, and the first county judge, and he later became chair of the Oklahoma A&M College Board of Regents. Captain William A. Knight provided similar leadership in Perkins. For more than 40 years, he was active in all facets of Perkins' development and led efforts to have the county seat and the land-grant college located in Perkins. William R. Little planned before the 1891 land run to start a town on the Sac and Fox Reservation. He was among the first to establish a claim after the land run, and he set aside 80 acres of his claim for a town site that became Cushing. William L. Couch is honored in Stillwater for having established a boomer colony 
on the banks of Stillwater Creek in 1884, which he named Stillwater, Oklahoma.